You know, I was talking to this woman the other day and she had these eyes. They were just like incredible. Oh, yeah. yeah, like seriously captivating. Yeah, like a stormy sky, you yeah. know, but not like in a dark way or anything. Right, right. They had this depth and this luminosity that just drew you in. And it got me thinking because they were gray and I've always thought gray eyes were so fascinating. Yeah, definitely. So uh, we're going on a deep dive today. We're diving into The Genetic Origins of Gray Eyes by Paul Elms Bacardi. Okay. To try to uncover, like, what's the science behind these really elusive shades, you know? Excellent choice. Yeah, gray eyes are truly captivating. Wait. So as you know, eye color basically comes down to melanin. Right? It's the pigment that gives our eyes their color. So brown eyes, they've got tons of it. Blue eyes have very little. But then you get to gray eyes, and they just, like, throw in a twist. It's true. Yeah, it can't just be about the amount of melanin, though, right? Right. Because if you think about all the eye colors lined up on a spectrum or whatever, yeah, wouldn't gray just be like right next to blue? You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. So gray eyes actually have even less melanin than blue eyes. Wow. The really fascinating part is how that lack of pigment, when it's combined with other factors, is what creates that unique gray hue. Okay, so then what's going on beyond just like how much melanin is in there or whatever? Because our source mentions these genes, OCA2 and HR2, and I feel like we've run into those before. We did, we did. With yeah. blue eyes too, right? Yeah, exactly. Those genes are essentially like the conductors of melanin production. Okay. But, and here's where it gets really, really interesting, especially with gray eyes. There's this other whole layer of complexity on top of that. Okay. Our source actually calls them structural factors. Interesting. Which are really, really crucial to understanding like why those shades of gray look the way that they do, like that shimmery kind of gray color. Okay, now you've got me hooked. Structural factors. What are we talking about here? Like the actual structure of the eye itself. Exactly. Yeah, the actual structure of the eye. Wow. So think about it like this, right? Yeah. You can have two rooms that are painted the exact same shade of blue. Okay. But depending on where the windows are, how the furniture's placed, the way the light hits those surfaces, yeah, yeah. they'll yeah. look different, right? Mm -hmm. It's the same with your eyes. Wow, that's a great analogy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's not just the pigment, but it's how the light interacts with the, what is it, the iris? The iris, exactly. Yeah. Right. Specifically the stroma, which is this really thin, delicate layer that's within the iris. Okay. That plays a really, really key role. Okay. And it has these tiny collagen fibers that scatter light. And in gray eyes, this scattering happens in a way that produces that really cool, almost translucent quality. Interesting. Okay. So less melanin than blue eyes, plus this unique light scattering. Gray eyes really are kind of a genetic puzzle. They are. Where did these puzzles even, like first appear though didn't the source see something about the black sea region yes isn't that fascinating it is both blue and gray eyes are considered relatively recent mutations in human history oh. they emerged around the black sea region probably within the last ten thousand years the black sea region hmm what was even going on over there that would like sparked those mutations well you gotta think it was a hub of activity back then right, right. Yeah. migration trade all sorts of cultural exchange. Yeah, yeah. Those kinds of factors, especially when you combine them with a potential for genetic drift in smaller populations, that could have contributed to these like striking new eye colors just kind of popping up. So picture this, right? You're living thousands of years ago. Yeah. And suddenly, bam, someone's born with these like never before seen gray eyes. That must cause quite a stir. Can you imagine? And it's so cool to think about like from those early, early encounters, that's how the trait spread. Right. So the source mentions that gray eyes are most prevalent in people who have Eastern and Northern European ancestry, which suggests a pattern of migration and inheritance from that Black Sea origin. Right. But then fast forward to today, and I mean, you find gray eyes all over the world, thanks to what, like centuries of migration and mixing and all of that. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. It's just cool how something that seems like as small as a change in your eye color can tell us so much about human history and how we're all connected, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's really pretty amazing. It reminds us that we're all part of this incredible, like, tapestry of human diversity. And, you know, it makes you wonder. What's that? If gray eyes are a variation of blue eyes, which is a, a relatively recent change in our evolutionary story, what other secrets about eye color are still waiting to be uncovered? Wow. That's a great question. Well, 
from melanin and genes to the structure of the iris and a journey back to the Black Sea region, that was quite the deep dive. Yeah, it was. Clearly, when it comes to gray eyes, there's a lot more than meets the eye. That's for sure. Oh, that's so cheesy. Oh, my God. Well, it's true. I know, I know. See you next time.